So on the occasion of the third anniversary of NEP 2020 and uh, its implementation being celebrated by the nation under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, it gives me immense pleasure in presenting the progress made by the National Institute of Technology Srinagar in implementing NEP 2020. The new education policy proposes revision and revamping of all aspects of the education structure, including its regulation and the governance, to create a new system that provides holistic and lifelong learning opportunities for the students. As you all very well know, NIT Srinagar has been imparting technical education for the past 63 years and playing an important role in the development of the valley in particular and the country at large. It is the third oldest NITs in the country established in the year 1963. NIT Srinagar, uh, 1960, I stand corrected, 1960. NIT Srinagar has been implementing the National Education Policy, NEP 2020, for the past three years in its true spirit and the changes brought under NEP can be categorized into the curriculum and governance related aspects. The education at NIT Srinagar is made learner centric under this NAP 2020. In one of the major changes to the curriculum, all BTEC programs are restructured with effect from the year 2023. And the credit, sy credit system has been rationalized to bring down the minimum number of credits required for the award of BTEC degree to 160. This provides the students much needed space for experiential learning. The experiential learning has been the central pillar of the NEP 2020. As part of restructuring of undergraduate curriculum, the institute offers certain mandatory non-credit courses as well, which includes human values and professional ethics, health and wellness, and foreign languages, etc. In another important development, NIT Srinagar has started the implementation of multiple entry and multiple exit system at undergraduation as well as post-graduation levels. We are among the first institutions in, in, in implementing this in the entire country, the multiple entry and multiple exit system in undergraduation program. In a move to give flexibility and academic mobility to the students, NIT Srinagar has started the system of academic bank of credits called ABC <coughs> in national academic depository system and the students from 2022 batch are being registered on this system of ABC. Their IDs have been generated and uh, certificates of BTEC pass out students from the batch of 2018-2019 have been uploaded on NAD as part of ABC. NIT Srinagar hosts regular industry institution interactions and the experts from industry are also invited for delivering extension lectures at the institute that is NIT Srinagar. From the coming academic year, we are implementing the system, a new system of one or two credit courses in, uh, alongside the conventional three credit courses as well. This provides a student with wider learning opportunities and also the flexibility to use industry experts as teachers. That is another flexibility component of NEP that we have tried to implement. In another important change to the curriculum structure, NIT Srinagar has decided to adopt the concept of digital learning <coughs> wherein the students are allowed to take or opt the online courses like SWAYAM, MOOCs, uh, NPTEL, etc., amounting to a maximum of 10 credits in the entire program of their BTEC. NIT Srinagar has adopted continuous evaluation system since long to evaluate students' performances to achieve the desired learning of outcomes of their respective programs. Among the other initiatives under NEP, 
Efforts are being made to offer various courses in hybrid mode, that means both online as well as physical mode. Introduce interdisciplinary courses in the thrust areas and uh, promote institute industry collaborations. Fresh and frontier courses such as non-conventional energy systems and environmental and sustainable engineering are introduced by various departments at NIT Srinagar. The institute has also adopted PhD regulations which are in tune with the NEP 2020 and the direct PhD admissions after bachelor's degree uh, it has been introduced at NIT Srinagar as part of NEP 2020. Student mobility across institutions is one of the important components of NEP 2020. <coughs> Implementing this in its true spirit, NIT Srinagar has signed MOUs with IIT Delhi, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Jammu and other institutions. The students of NIT Srinagar have already gone to those institutions uh, to carry out their coursework in the final year and also the dissertation works. We are also trying to bring students and faculty members from various IITs into NIT Srinagar as part of the exchange of students as well as faculty members. NIT Srinagar has academic and research collaborations with many other foreign and Indian institutions, including Russian Academy of Sciences, Texas University in the US, ESES, Connecticut University, again in the US, BNUT in Iran, SFAX University in Tunis, and uh, Tashkent University, and many other reputed institutions within the country. So the MOUs that we have signed so far have always been functional MOUs. <coughs> NIT Srinagar has signed MOUs with other industrial partners such as Maruti Udyog Limited, NHAI, JKLCMA, Ministry of M MSME, Government of India, and the ESSCI, SAP Automation India, JANI IEF Entrepreneurship Foundation, and many other industry partners. The undergraduate students are deputed to various industries for undergoing mandatory internship. I am heartened to say that the internship has been made mandatory under this new NEP uh, 2020, which actually brings the students much closer to the industry and their industry ready by the time they complete their undergraduation. Alongside the NEP implementation, NIT Srinagar has been implementing a number of other academic uh, reforms as well. The institute is now using enterprise resources planning software that's called ERP very popularly for management of students from their admissions till their graduation. Two undergraduate programs including mechanical engineering and electronics and communication engineering are already accredited by National Board of Accreditation that's called NBA. Now the institute is planning to get the other BTEC programs, undergraduate programs accredited by NBA. NIT Srinagar has established the Innovation, Incubation and the Entrepreneurship Development Center, that's called IIEDC, to promote or provide technical as well as financial assistance to the students, startups, idea generators and grassroots innovators. IIEDC serves as aspirations of serves the aspirations of innovators within and outside NIT system by creating